Severe weather outbreak is expected across the south today, and it starts with the temperatures. This is our first ingredient for the setup. You have very warm, very tropical air pushing in from the Gulf of Mexico. That moisture from the Gulf interacting with these twisting winds higher up in the atmosphere, the middle levels of the atmosphere where you have that area of low pressure and the jet stream. These are all of the dynamics coming together to allow these storms to twist and also to grow with a lot of moisture. And that is the reason why we are looking at such a large tornado threat for parts of the deep south today. And it starts this morning. This is a look at just after eight o'clock in the morning. We have two lines that we're watching. A severe thunderstorm watch in effect for that line right now from Oklahoma into eastern Texas. A tornado watch in effect for areas like Arkansas and Mississippi. And we have seen numerous tornado warnings. Those darker red boxes are indications of tornado warnings. And so those are areas with already rotating thunderstorms this morning. That only gets enhanced with the daytime heating. The Storm Prediction Center has a high risk for tornadoes. It's a five out of five for areas like central Mississippi. And this moves into our area as we head into Thursday, a four out of five risk for us in South Carolina. So this threat starts in the morning time lingers into the afternoon and it's not just the tornado threat but more importantly the damaging wind threat as well but tornadoes have not been something we've seen a lot of in the southeast so far this entire year we only have had 19 across the southeast we average about 80 from january february into March. So that's a significant difference and we will likely be catching up. So for today, we start off in the 50s. We warm up slowly into the 60s this afternoon with a few peaks of sunshine, but we notice a big change overnight tonight with those winds shifting in from the south. That's going to bring the energy that these storms require, the fuel that they need to really get strong. So that potential, the window for severe weather is from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. There could be the opportunity for some really torrential downpours at the very least as those storms pass through. But notice 3, 4 o'clock, they're into the eastern Midlands and it's starting to clear up. So this is not an all-day washout. We're watching the morning and the afternoon, but the evening is going to be really nice with still mild temperatures and maybe breezy conditions at the most. So these are our threats. Lightning is expected. Gusty winds are expected. Hail is possible, and it could be quite large, and we are expecting tornadoes in South Carolina. Now, of course, they are going to be scattered, but any storm will be capable of producing all of those elements. We have medium confidence of a significant weather event across the Palmetto State. So make your plan, practice what you do, have multiple ways to receive warnings. Our app, your cell phone, if you can get a NOAA radio, that would be wonderful. And now's the time to prepare an emergency kit in case the power goes out or in case your home suffers any damage. Make sure that you're staying away from big excursions tomorrow. Stay close to home if you can from the mid-morning into the afternoon and have a place to go and seek shelter when these storms come close by. I'm News 19 meteorologist Alex Calamia.